In the last video, we saw how to configure SharePoint Online's security for certain scenarios when working with Power Apps. Now, we also saw the limitations, and uh, we already pointed out that Dataverse is the tool to use when security is a big requirement in our solution. So let's dive into that and see how this works in Dataverse, the best tool for the job. Now let's use the same app that we saw in the last video, but now connect it to a Dataverse table. So in the left, we have this user that has the role system administrator. And here, this user in the, in the right, uh, it has a custom role, custom role, okay? We'll see the definition of the role in a moment. What you, you need to understand is that they have different security roles, which allows each user to do different things with this table that we are displaying in this application. So let's take a look at how this, how this is works. So let's create a register here. So test with Andres user, then here, I just fill the information. Information is not important. Now, this record has been created. If I refresh in the right, this user with the custom role is able to see this record. Okay, great. Let's create a new one here and say test with power user. This is the name, the name of the user, and just fill in the information with whatever we want. Okay, it's here. Now, let's refresh in the left and see how okay, we see the same data in the left and in the right. Now, the left user has system administrator role, meaning that in Dataverse, you, with that role, you can do anything, you can do everything inside the environment, you have this role. So if I pick this record that was created by the user in the right, if I edit it, let's put some errors here. Yeah, I hit submit, I'm allowed to do that, success. So if I refresh in the right, all right, let's see. So I actually can see the change, right? Now let's uh, do the change from here. Use uh, like this. I will see how I am able to change the record in right. And then I see the same in the left. Okay, nothing new here. Well, take a moment. Let's check what happens with this record. This record was created by this user, the system administrator user. Now let's see what happens if I edit it with the user on the right. So let's hit edit. Let's put some errors in here. Hit submit and check what happened. You don't have permissions to edit this role. Why? Because we have a security configuration here that prevents us from creating records created by other users when having this custom role that we said, custom role assigned to our user. Let's see how to configure this and how does this work. So the foundational component of security in Dataverse and in any enterprise great solution is role-based access control. So we manage access to records, the operations of creation, update, delete, etc. with roles. So for example, if I have the role of a finance user, then I can only work with finance related defined records or tables. But as soon as I want to interact with a table that belongs to the HR, uh, for example, payroll related data, then I, uh, I cannot access that data because my role doesn't allow me to access it. And it's just configuration. We are not setting up any logic or anything. So if I try to access using a flow, I cannot do that via an app, via an API, via whatever. I cannot do that because this is a security layer that is just configuration that prevents me from accessing data I cannot or I shouldn't have access because of the configuration I'm subjected to. So for this particular example, I have prepared this security role that affects this table that we are working with. So we're working with this table over here, YouTube Digital Elementaries, created for this YouTube video. And we have these two records. The owner is uh, each of the two users and the owner is the user who created the record. When you create a record, you own it. Just as uh, if you work with SharePoint, it's the same. You create a file, you are the owner of the file, the author of the file. Here's the same. Now let's see how this role is configured. Any role, well, we, they will have lots of uh, tables configured already because uh, there are some, let's say, common tables over there. But let's just search YouTube for our YouTube table here. Now, there are several roles, but what we want to uh, pay attention 
Formula Man is in these CRUD roles, so the create, read, write, delete operations for this table. Now let's take a look at what happens with the read permission because it's the most uh, the easiest to understand. The permission is going to control the read operation over this table. So with my user, what can I read related to this YouTube? the inventory is table. So you see that we have this granularity, granularity, and we have user, parent, child, business unit, organization, business unit. Uh, in order, it would be from list to uh, more, would be first user, the list, then uh, business unit, then parent, child, business unit, and then organization. So one, uh, this would be two, this would be three, and this would be four. In order of from list from less to more, of course, none <laughs> doesn't count, right? That, that would be zero. Now, how uh, does this thing work? So if we say user means that I hate says you can only access exile here, access records owned by users. So by my user, if I created the record, I can read it. If it's created by another user, I can read it. Then it goes more, uh, let's say uh, up in the hierarchy of uh, security, we go to business unit. Business unit means, for example, let's say that we have a big organization where we have global finance, then we have uh, finance US, then we have finance Europe, then we have fi finance Asia, and then inside finance um, Europe, we have finance Spain, for example, finance Italy, whatever. Then uh, these regions, let's say, they would or be organizing business units, for example, so that if you are a member of the business unit finance us then if it's a uh, security is configured as business unit then you can only see the us records but if i am member of the um global finance organization the business unit then i see all the records from the us from europe from asia now if i uh, see that's what happens when i said parent child business unit. so if i'm in the top business unit then i see from the top to the bottom if i'm in the more in the bottom, then I only see my own business units records. And then organization means all the records, regardless of uh, the user who created it and regardless if that user is from finance units, finance global or wherever. So let's use the new theoretical, theoretical concept with the right permission. Here you see that the right permission is set with the user permission. So I can only write, I can only edit the records that I have created myself. So you see here that uh, I can only edit with this power user test, this record, but not this one because the latter has been created by my user, not power test user. So going back to an example, so test with power user here, I can edit, right? Like here I can edit, but if I pick this one and this one has been the owner is this other user with the other permissions. If I try to edit this one, then is where I will have this permission error. Now, if you notice, when we configure the permissions here, there is this tool tip. Let me try to, oops, now it, does it show? Let's see where it says here, access to records owned by users or objects shared with the user or their team. This is where <clears throat> this record ownership configuration and takes part and this is configured when you create the table all right so if we go to uh, the table configuration so we click into tables here go inside and then we go to the properties of the table in here you see here record ownership this parameter this configuration is created and uh, it's configured only when you create the table and this configures the ownership of the uh, of the record so let's for example pick this one over here and edit it using the form all right all right here it goes so you see that the owner field can be changed actually right so here this is my user let's change the user to power test user okay here and hit save so if i refresh yeah we see that the owner is power test user meaning that now here i should be able to to change this record hit save and it's success i say refresh you see the changes in here. Why? Because I changed the ownership. Now the ownership can be a user or a team. Why is this important? Let's think of an example. We were talking in the previous video about an example where we have a, an approval process. So I'm as a requester submit an approval request to my manager. And when I do that submission, what needs to happen 
in terms of permissions is that after I hit submit, I need to lose my edit permissions over the record because now the approver needs to take a look at it and they are the ones that in turn can edit but but because I'm I have submitted the record I can no longer edit it it doesn't make sense right so how would that work here we would use changing of all the owner field the ownership of the record so that when I I'm creating the request I am the owner of the record but when I submit the request for approval then the ownership changes from me to my manager this way we ensure sure that I can no longer edit the, um, according to the permissions that we have defined in the role, I can no longer edit this record. Now, why can that be extremely important to have a team instead of a user ownership? So let's say, for example, that my manager now is out of office, is on vacation. We normally would have a team of managers who approve the requests. So instead of changing the ownership here to a nominal user, we would change it to the manager team for example, and any person, member of that team, think of them as a security group, eh? but in, inside the words, which also can be synchronized to a HRT directory and enter ID security group, more than one, tell me in the comments, uh, so that if one of the managers is on vacation, then others can um, approve the record because they will have the permissions because they are members of a team who is in turn owner of the record. Um, maybe if you want to see that more graphically in an example, tell me in the comments, but and this is what we call dynamic security, which means that based on a business logic, ownership of record changes so that we ensure that the proper security configuration is applied in different steps of the life cycle of a record, meaning that in during the business process, security changes. And that's that. And before wrapping up, uh, take notice of the following. The security role is configured in the context or can be configured in the context of a solution. We've seen in other videos of, the, of this YouTube channel what solutions are. Basically, they are packaged where you put together all the components related to the solution that you are providing to solve a problem. And um, basically, security roles can be part of a solution, meaning that when you deploy the solution from dev to test to prod following ALM best practices, what you will do is that this role will come together with the whole package, meaning that you don't have to recreate the role or anything. It travels with the solution package so that you configure it once and then it's applied everywhere. Well, and now uh, let's wrap up. So we've seen how security works in Dataverse. Uh, we've done a basic walkthrough with a visual example on how role-based access control works. We've mentioned dynamic security. We've mentioned some other more complex topics like hierarchical security with business units. Let me know in the comments if you want to know more about this. Tell me, and of course, if you follow the link in the description, you'll go to my website www.andresbiarge.com and there please submit the form with, uh, for sending me your email address so that I can have one-to-one -one communications, communications with you providing you more valuable content with more in-depth and even with uh, direct links to solution packages and everything so that you can test it yourself coming up in 2025. Let me know in your comments, hit subscribe, hit the like and see you soon.